Okay, so I've been getting a lot of HTML5 questions, and it's proven from the statistics that you guys really care about video on the web. HTML5 and Flash, Adobe, Apple, it's this huge thing. So I want to really lay some ground on all the different ways to get video on a website, okay? There are so many different ways. Let's talk about, like, the top eight. I didn't actually count. We've got custom Flash players, and these are players that have been pre-made with all the functionality, and that's ready to go. You just download, install, and then it, it f plays videos that are on your server, okay? Then there are hosted CDN Flash players. These are, these are basically, uh, let me rephrase it, servers. These are basically services that are on the web that you give your videos to, and then they serve them back to you or back to your player, rather, but from a closer location around the world. A CDN is a content delivery network. So if your users are in Australia, and you're, you're located in California, okay, and you want your video, that, that actually would take a lot longer if your videos are coming from California. So a CDN, your videos will come from Australia to the Australian person, right? See how that works? So those are CDN servers. Then you've got hosted Flash players, where these are video players that are already created, ready to go. Your videos are on their server, and they play from their video player. All you do is basically embed a video into your page. Done. Then there are custom HTML5 players. These are brand new. These are players that are only HTML5. They probably have a Flash fallback, but basically the, their main goal is HTML5 only. Um, then you can build your own Flash video player. You can build your own HTML5 player. And then there's CDN host plus building your own player. As in, you could use a CDN and not a hosted video. You could, build a C you could use a CDN and your own player. And then you've got... HTML5 hosted solutions with a flash fallback, and these are big ones like YouTube, Vimeo, and Brightcove. Okay, so let's go through each of these uh, a little more in depth. Let's take a look at custom flash players. There's two main ones that I like to point out, and that's JW Player and Flow Player. Okay, the differences are well, there's a lot of similarities. They're both fully functional flash players. They both have their own APIs for customization and expandability. They're both free with a lot of paid upgrades for different things. They both have ad solutions, so if you want to monetize your videos, and they both have analytics. So if you want to analyze, if you want to connect with Google Analytics, or you want to analyze all tons of kinds of data, they both do that. The difference right now is that JW Player has HTML5 capabilities, and Flow Player does not right now. Okay, so that's the difference right there. There's another difference that we'll get to in a second with this CDN is that Flow Player supports a lot more CDN networks than JW Player. But in this category that we're talking about right here, if you're going to play your videos from your own server, these are two players that you can use. Now, hosted CDN Flash servers, there's Media Melon, there's Simple CDN, and there's Influxus. Generally, you don't talk to them. Generally, you get a player that's pre built and, and pre-works with uh, a CDN. So, for example, uh, Media Melon has uh, JD, JW Player and Flow Player. So if we actually, I think I have these websites here, um, CDN Custom Player. So Flow Player, Content Delivery Network, they've got Influxus, they've got Media Melon, and they've got Simple CDN. And I think if we do JW Player CDN, I believe they have, um, I believe they can do Media Melon, and that's it. So if we, uh, let's see. JW Player, let's see here. I know they got it. JW Player, let's look up um, CDN. And, well, I can't find it. But they do um, Media Melon. I know they do. Okay? So you've got that. But so Flow Player has more options for CDN solutions. Okay? And again, CDN is if you need to deliver your content over the, across the entire world fast. Okay, then there's hosted Flash players. So these are Flash players that you put your videos on their website and just embed the code. These are, say, Media Melon plus Flow Player or Media Melon plus JW Player or Bright Cove, which is a website that um, basically, that's Slimline. Where's Bright Cove? Um, I probably didn't save it. But Bright Cove um, is one I just found that yeah, they're not leading. Whatever. <laughs> but Bright Cove will allow you to do all the same things as the other guys, um, but there's they're an all-in-one solution. Like, you're not going to download their player 
and play with it, okay? They're an all-in-one solution, if you want to put it that way, like an iMac, okay? Then there's custom HTML5 players, like Sublime. I was just there. Um, but this is an HTML5 player, so if I right-click, you see this isn't Flash, and I can play the video. And this isn't the, this isn't the regular HTML5 controls. They've made controls. This is their own player, okay? Um, then there are build your own flash players. So if I go to say uh, my old website, OpticalEffects.com, this is a flash player that I've created in Flash to play videos. Okay, so so this is I've made this player. It's I'm hosting the video, my player. Okay. Then there's uh, HTML5 building your own players, and th these are actually um, getting more and more popular, but uh, like here's some code, um, and I've done a lot of videos about this, but they're using the video tag, and you can control the whole thing with JavaScript, so you can you can make your own player completely in HTML5 with a flash fallback if you wanted, okay, and then there's, um, right, and we already went over these three. So, so then there's there's these three uh, between YouTube, Vimeo, and Brightcove. And really, the differences here are YouTube's got a huge community. You're going to gain popularity a lot quicker on YouTube just because of the community. There's a problem where you have a 10 minute limit, and you know I have like I have a timer right now, timing myself so I don't go over because I use YouTube. And then you've got uh, one good thing about YouTube is that they're iPad and iPhone capable, but they're not Firefox capable in HTML5. Vimeo uh, is a much more Web 2.0 website. It's actually a lot techier, if you will. YouTube is more for the mainstream. YouTube's like Walmart. Vimeo is like, you know, Trader Joe's. I don't know. <laughs> YouTube, Vimeo is a lot more techier and, and a lot more, I guess, higher class than YouTube, if you want to put it that way. YouTube seems a lot more for the general public. Um, you're allowed longer and bigger videos on Vimeo, uh, but Vimeo is strictly not for business use unless you pay for a business account. Actually, I don't think no matter what, you can use it for business. And right now, they're not working on iPhone. Even though they do have HTML5, they're not um, working on iPhone. And then Brightcove also has HTML5. You can have any length, and it's completely your own player, but it's expensive. It's not free like YouTube or Vimeo. You can't just straight use it. It's it's expensive, and they don't have a big community. So you got to think about that. But in conclusion, of all these different types, to answer the question, how to get video on your website, here are the basic five. If you want to get popular, use YouTube. If you want your videos to be cutting edge and you want to have a really unique player, different from everyone else, then build it from scratch, HTML5, and then just make a flash fallback. Okay. If you want to get just get something up, you just want some video up there, just real quick, real simple, but you don't want the community or you don't need the community or you don't want to have all that publicness, then just get a JW player or a Flow player. It's just going to be real quick. You download the player, install it, put up your video. Okay, That's if you don't want it public. If you want to mo monetize your videos and make some money with some ads or whatever, then use JW or Flow player. Basically, they'll let you put in ad systems and all that. If you expect a lot of traffic from your video streams, and you, you basically you can't can, you can't handle the bandwidth that's going to be coming. Then get a CDN. Then your videos will be hosted on all over the world, and they'll be delivered way faster than anything else you could do. So basically, that's the questions that you need to answer yourself if you're looking to get video on your website on the web.